Hello there, reason people. Boo Bear here, welcome to my channel. And a question has popped up to do with Avenger. And how can we automate, uh, say, something like the macro controls, or to be honest, even the cutoff and quite a lot of the other controls? And the simple answer is, well, you can't actually do it directly. And the reason you can't do it directly is, well, there's so many controls within Avenger that basically run out. So there's like a 256 limit within reason of automation lanes. And well, because there's like, I think there's like nine oscillators or something. Um, within Avenger, so it just doesn't fit. You just cannot do it. But we're not left out in a cold. We can actually do it two different ways, and this is my preferred way. Uh, obviously, I'm going to click on the CV programmer to open it up, and then I'm going to go and get my good old friend, the CV8X4. So there we go, the CV8X4, and we're going to flip to the back, and I'm going to take a CV out. I don't know, I might be able to zoom in here and just simply put that into the CV1 in. Fantastic. To flip around to the run and the easiest thing to do is I'm going to click that learn button and I'm going to have to zoom out. So I'm going to have to go and grab my Avenger and bring it back onto the screen. And all I'm going to do is say is move, say this control here. And as you can see, this control now is now affecting this base value. And if I move this base value down, you can see this control goes down. But more to the point, if I move this control, I am now controlling it. And of course, from here, uh, in fact, I can actually control this and I'm controlling it now from my nectar. So I can actually control that from my nectar. And obviously if I hit record, so if I move that out of the way, I can obviously hit record here and we can create ourselves some automation. And more to the point, that little bit of automation is going to now come along and it's automating. That's straightforward. Obviously, you can get yourself uh, a combinator and uh, you can wire it up that way. But I prefer to use this, the CV8X4 for doing that sort of thing. If you want to use buttons, then yeah, put it into a combinator. And don't forget, you can attach a CV8X4 to the CV ins on the combinator to give you some more controls. And when you really, really get stuck and you want to say more than 18 controls, you can go and get the EMI and actually do a, a loop back. Same sort of principle, this plugs into the the MIDI out or the EMI and you just loop back and then you start taking your box standard, click on the remote button at the top of the uh, VST, click on the thing and take remote control of it. And it really is that straightforward. Thanks for watching and bye for now.